Unfortunately, the Dallas Mavericks picked up a loss in game two. They had it for the taking. They were up big in this game. The first quarter, they go out and they win 32 to 25. The second quarter, 40 to 33. And then unfortunately, the offense was non-existent in the third quarter. 13 points for them, 25 for the Warriors. And honestly, I'm not going to start calling guys out because the Mavs were down 2-0 last series. But I will say... They had just had no answer for the Warriors' own defense. Honest, obviously, like they just could not knock down shots, and I don't understand why. Like, how do you have such a good first half, and then in the second half, you don't show up? I mean, of course, they, they got it going in the fourth quarter. They scored 30 points. Well, they're going to score more because, again, there's 31 seconds left when I'm filming this. But the problem is they gave up 42-plus. Again, that's going to go up as well. The Mavericks just, they're an unbelievable team. They had such a good regular season. They just defeated the Phoenix Suns, the best team in the NBA statistically. I mean, you're looking at the only top five offense, the only top five defense led by Devin Booker and them boys, Monty Williams, the coach of the year. They obviously beat Utah, who, pretty damn good team, Utah Jazz. Say what you want about them. But probably the best. I think they were number one ranked offense. But just the Warriors, they're a different breed. But the Mavericks, they've got just as good of a roster as them. I mean, the Dallas Mavericks, they have, look at this. They've got Reggie Bullock, who has 21 points right now. Dorian Finney-Smith, who I thought was snub from all defense. Uh, I mean, he just was so good for them this year. He can guard pretty much any position. And then you've got Jalen Brunson, who has 31. He was kind of quiet in the third quarter, but he erupted in the fourth quarter. 31-7-5. He's going to get paid this offseason. Hopefully Dallas can retain him. It's probably going to cost him around 20 to $25 million a year. And I mentioned in my video yesterday talking about Game 2 keys. Maxi Kleba and Dwight Powell, they've got to show up. They've got to show up. Dwight Powell is zero points in eight minutes. Maxi Kleba goes out there and the game's finalized, so I just lost my stats. Maxi Kleba goes out there and scores three points in 33 minutes. And again, I'm not going to start sitting up here and acting like I'm a Mavericks expert. I'm just rooting for them, a fan making videos. But, I mean, Maxi Kleba was non-existent in this game. He got dominated. I mean, I was seeing guys drive down the lane and get easy buckets. I was seeing Kevon Looney get the rebound and go up at his little cheap foul and one. I mean, hey, I like the Memphis Grizzlies. We've got Jaron Jackson Jr. We lost to the Warriors. Sure. But the Warriors are just thriving off of Maxi Kleba and Dwight Powell. The Warriors struggled driving in on Jaron Jackson Jr. He was all-NBA first-team defense for a reason. No one was driving in on him because if they do, they're going to get the ball swatted back into them. The Mavericks don't have a rim protector. They traded Chris Porzingis for obvious reasons, and they got Spencer Dewey, who was pretty good in Game 7. You know, he had 30 points and five threes against the Suns, but obviously he was, he was okay to get 17 at the top of my head in Game 1, and then tonight he went out there and... How many points did Dinwiddie even have tonight? It wasn't very good. Dinwiddie had four points in 22 minutes. So I don't I don't know what to say, man. Obviously, you know, we're not switching up. The, the energy is the same. You defend your home court. The Mavericks, they've got to win one game in the Bay because we'll see. Game, game three, Dallas win. Game four, Dallas win. Game five, you go back there, try to get a win. And then game six, you win that, you win the series. And obviously the Mavericks aren't winning four games in a row, but they could also win game seven. They've got to win one game on the road. They've got to defend their home court. I feel confident in the Mavs defending their home court. I really do. The Warriors in Memphis obviously stole game one. They had no business winning that. John missed the game winner. And then they lose game two, led by oh, what, John, 47 in that game. And then they go back in game five and they get blown out by 39. It would have been 50 if the starters obviously continue to play. So I just, I want the Dallas Mavericks to win this series. I want to see Luka Doncic be great. I made a video like a year ago saying that he might be the best basketball player this game's ever seen, which is a lot. I mean, Wilt Chamberlain, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Bill Russell, Big O. There's been some greats, but Luka Doncic is what, 23 years old and he looks like he's a veteran out there. He's been playing overseas. He's been playing... I think when he played for Madrid, he's been professional for like 10 years. I mean, Luca just watching him, I just, there's nothing like it, man. He's not even the most athletic guy. He's just going out there and just giving people the, the business. 42, 8 and 5 for Doncic, 12 for 23, 5 and 10 from 3, 13 and 15. He did get help tonight. He got 31 for Brunson, 21 for Bullock. I said in my video yesterday that the Warriors don't fear Reggie Bullock offensively. And although that might be true, hey, Bullock was great tonight. He was 6 of 11 from the field, 6 of 10 from three. Bullock was incredible. We know what he brings defensively. But again, 
People need to step up. It can't just be the guards, bro. The bigs. I'm looking at Powell and Kleba. I'm looking at Davis Bertans. I mean, you've been shooting the three ball extraordinarily well. I mean, you take two shots and you play seven minutes. Obviously, his defense, you don't want him out there against the Warriors. It's just there's just not guys. like If Powell and Kleba could just play better tonight and Bertans gave you more than just six points. I mean, he plays seven minutes. So I'm not going to fault him too much. And obviously, he had that and one three or whatever, but... Oh, I just I wanted to come on this video and talk about the Mavericks winning this game and how they just stole home court and wow they've got all the momentum but unfortunately they didn't they lost but if there's any team that's going to bounce back after losing twice to the Warriors on the road it's the Dallas Mavericks because they did it against the Phoenix Suns and I don't care what anyone says the Phoenix Suns were the best team in the regular season they were absolutely lethal and the Mavericks just I mean Luka in game six and seven was just magical I mean Luka was just unreal I don't even know if anyone in the league besides him could have done that. I'm being completely honest with you. I mean, I guess Jason Tatum comes to mind, but I mean, wow, like Luca and Tatum, those guys are going to run the league and win MVPs. And But obviously, you know, we're trying to focus on right now. Like, we don't care about Luca winning MVPs. We don't care that Luca had 42-8-5. Luca would tell you that himself. He doesn't care. His team lost the game. If they had won, that's a different story, but... I don't really know what else to tell you guys. I mean, there was a crazy stat. It was points in the paint, and of course, I just lost it. Points in the paint. So the Warriors, and this might have changed by a couple points, but at the time of me looking at this, the Warriors had 62 points in the paint. The Mavericks had 26. Now, again, I don't know everything about the Mavericks, but what I do know is that they don't rebound the basketball that well, but they beat teams by their lethal three-point shooting. And again, that has worked, but against the Warriors, I don't think that can work because the Warriors are so good at shooting and we saw what happened to the Grizzlies, the Warriors' are second chance points and getting every rebound and being in position. I mean, the Dallas Mavericks, they're going to return to Texas down 0-2 in a series. They just did that. Man, like, they just, ugh, the Mavericks could not get a stop, bro. They really could not get a stop. They just needed to string it together a couple and they could have won this game, but they didn't. And I will say that when the Warriors run that little under the basket, uh, not ever, when they when the Warriors excuse me, when the Warriors run that box in one defense, they've got a they, the Mavs got to look under the basket, and of course the middle's open as well. But I mean the Mavs like they should have been in the film room looking at these defenses. Like I don't know how a defense can come to surprise someone. I mean the Mavs they should have known where to get the basketball and where to position guys, and they just weren't prepared. They weren't prepared in game one either. I mean I know they were fatigued and stuff for being on the road for nearly a week, but. Again, they just, it was completely inexcusable. Like, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm not trying to call guys out and hate on the Mavs. Like, I'm making the Mavs videos for their fans, trying to stay optimistic. But, I mean, at the end of the day, they really should have won this game. And game one, obviously, was, I don't want to say outlier, but it obviously was just unusual. I mean, Mavs just, they, they got clamped up being real with you and stuff like that. But, wow, we'll see what happens. I still have, I don't know, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know if I, how much faith I have in the Mavericks winning this series now. But again, I have some, like I have enough to be able to come up here and talk. Like if I thought this series was done, why would I bother making this? But hey, let me know your guys' thoughts in the video. Uh, of course, if you could drop a like and subscribe, it would help me out. I'm going to be covering the Mavericks probably throughout the entire rest of the playoffs, entire offseason. Like I said, Luka is my guy. I drafted him first in fantasy. Love Luka. Um, yeah, guys, enjoy the rest of your night. And uh, bounce back, man. Bounce back in game three. When's that going to be played? Let's find out right now. It's going to be played Sunday at 9 Eastern. Whew. Mavs had a 19-point lead tonight. Crazy, bro.